Oh, there's the uh, promo of the next episode, Stormborn. Very yeah. short. Very short. Um, I, wonder if, I don't know if they're going to... I can't remember how it worked last season, if they bring out longer ones, or, if they, or they just get keep them condensed so you don't spoil too much for yourself. Uh, I think depending on the episode, it would depend on... It, yeah, I think it's because this one's just flavour. It just shows that everyone's learned that she's landed. Yeah, basically, landed. we see that if landed, I was saying, oh, the, the dragon, the dragon queen can't be trusted. Yeah. Um, so uh, next episode is going to be skip to everyone like how they're dealing with this. Yeah. So you got Cersei saying she's going to destroy everything. Yeah. Like it, it, she's going to destroy the kingdom. She's going to kill everybody. You've got John, John Snow go. Probably wanting to talk to her or something, and everyone's like, "No, you can't probably, trust her." He probably thinks this is the one ally we can use yeah. against Cersei, so we can focus on the White Walker threat, yeah. and she can deal with Cersei. Yeah. So you don't have to worry about that. Yeah. Um, plus, you have dragons, and dragons plus, can. Plus, plus I'm sure dragons. dragons can deal with something against White Walkers. Exactly, and um, plus, if he if he's going to find out in this episode that that's where the dragon graph is, then he needs to. Yeah, talk to her. Exactly. Um, and you do see people riding off. It, the, it yeah, well, you see sequences. people leave Winterfell, so whether he sends a messenger down there, or, or he goes himself with Sir Davos, and uh, Bran then comes down to Winterfell, and then they miss each other, and it's just sort yeah. of like a. And we also order. get. Um, well, we see this. We reckon the ship battle is going to happen because we see. Well, you see the massive them. fleet in the, the bay. bay. Yeah, so I reckon while they're all stationary. Uh, you on whatever. You're on. You're on. Attacks. Uh, we see a little, little bit of action with um, Illyria. Illyria with a knife stabbing someone. No, it looks, like, it looks like she gets a knife from somewhere. Yeah. And then just throws it. I think that's like Yoron. My, my thought is that um, Yara. You see, you see with Yara and Illyria having a little snoggy snog. Yeah. Which is fair enough. She's very uh, flirtatious. Uh, what I reckon is they're enjoying themselves, and then the ships come, massive battle happens. Uh, either Yara gets killed or thrown overboard. Theon, we think, gets thrown overboard because he sees people rolling yeah. the water when the ships explode and they see a lifeboat heading back to Dragonstone, I think it is, probably, or some other beach. And I think the gift that Euron has, will co- uh, recover is Al- 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 Alaria, yeah. because that is the woman that killed Her Cersei's daughter. daughter. And I mean, it, her. It could be Tyrion. He's talking about. But he would have to storm dragons. Yeah, that, that's a bit of a harder one to get. Um, don't know who else it could be. Plus, that puts Tyrion in mortal danger. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I think I think maybe it most likely because who else would be throwing a dagger out unless she has an argument with Yara? It looks to me like she was, she was in the thing. Maybe her sand snakes are getting killed left, right, centre, and then. And then um, he comes in to try and get her, like, you're coming with me, bitch. Yeah. And then he, like, she throws a knife, he deflects it or gets hit by it, or... Who knows? Who knows? It's, we'll, it's, find out next week. we'll find out next week. And we also get Arya meeting up with a direwolf again. So, yes, we got a direwolf back! It's funny, because... God knows what, was, what, was what happened to go. Nymeria. Yeah. So, Nymeria's the, one of the sand snakes, isn't it? So, a, woman, a strong woman warrior. You see the transition of... Oh, I don't know if she's actually. She must be with them. She must be with her mother. Maybe, yeah. If yeah. she's with them, is it mother sister? I don't know who else. Mother. But Nymeria, who might be with the Sand Snakes, and it's just that transition of you got Nymeria here, but you also got the Dire Wolf. Yeah. Uh, which is named after her. Um, so it would be. It would be interesting to see what happens with Arya and her. Mm. She uh, seems to still be travelling, so. So it travels travelling, but then she, I think in the books, I think Nymeria's got loads of puppies. Oh, if you, if you had a pack, that'd be quite nice. A pack of dogs that yeah. just completely destroy them. Oh, yeah, releases the hounds. Yeah. Wolves, die wolves. Die wolves of destiny. And it, it, it is what... I think it's set up... I think, the, I think the ship battle's been the main focus of that episode. Yeah. With the other stuff happening in between that... So I reckon it's going to be... I reckon it's going to start with Daenerys first. Yeah. Um, the battle map, because... Yeah. Saying we need to, uh, they're just like talking about it, wasn't they, or where we need to go. Um, we need to attack King's Landing, skip, yeah. go to King's Landing. Uh, they talk, they say what they're going to do to sort out the Queen or the, yeah. um, the Invader, or whatever. Yeah. Then possibly Jon Snow. Uh, we'll have Arya in there somewhere. Yep. Yeah. And then. Uh, Skip back to maybe the on the boat. They're getting ready to sail. Oh, they're getting. They said it was now that time to strike King's Landing. Yeah, but I don't think. 
Unless, of course, or they yeah, send Yara to do or that. Or they're making a plan. And then that's when... They're they're on, and then just about they're about to do something, the Iron Fleet comes in and attacks, and then it finishes with the big battle. Maybe, maybe that's it. Or if, it's, if it gets the battle started, and then we get it in episode maybe, three. Maybe her, maybe her fleet gets damaged, destroyed, and that means that she's sort of stuck there. She hasn't got a fleet anymore. So yeah, so they can't attack King Fanding by the harbour. They have to then go for ground assault. Ground assault. And they, they, it, maybe that will make her a little bit more vulnerable. Yeah. And that's why she's more willing to accept Jon Snow's help, because she's like, well, you know the lay of the land. You know what's going on, even though Tyrion does, but he's got an army. Yeah. He's got loyalists. He's, got the, he's basically got the north. Yeah, but he's, he's, he's focused on something else. Yeah. He's focused on something completely different to what Daenerys wants to do. But they don't know that, though. So. Mm, yeah. She'll be like, why do you need the dragon bless? Yeah, yeah well... Zombies. <laughs> but yeah, look, picture, picture this. Ice zombies. <laughs> zombies. But frozen. Yeah. With swords that shatter people. Yeah. It, it, yeah. So it's intriguing, it's really intriguing how she's going to react to Jon Snow, yeah. I think. I don't know if she's going to trust him, or she'll be fine with it, or he'll be like, she'll be like, ooh. This is something I don't think she's gonna like him very much, seeing as his father was part of the reason she got overthrown. Yeah, but yeah, I think they're gonna have this mutual respect slash disdain for. Re- well, I think she'll have more disdain for him. A bit more enemy of my enemy of my friend, friend, and sort of yeah, what temporary working together. Temporary working together. It might it might have a bit of betrayal and stuff and sort yeah. of tension, but then. I think when it culminates that I think it, if it culminates that they have it that Jon Snow is revealed to everyone because Jon Snow doesn't know that he is Targaryen blood. That's when the rivalry or the something's going to click. Yeah. Because I, I don't. I I just don't think Danny's story is going to end nicely. No thing ends. Right. No, no I know exactly. Right. I think her storyline is this: she tried so hard for the power. But then she lost control. She yeah. abused it and she becomes she becomes the thing that her father was, the Mad King or Mad Queen, and she just I don't know, she just doesn't doesn't fathom being a ruler yeah. anymore. Or like something happens. She believes it's owed her rather than she earned it. Yeah. Not. It's oh she she's come, it is hers, not yeah. she needs to earn it for herself. And Where then you got Jon Snow who had nothing and he's well, thought nothing. He was a bastard, he was never meant to rule, he was never he was always meant to go off and become yeah, a Yeah, if, if, if they have the thing... And now he's been thrust upon him. If, the they, if they say that he is half Targaryen, half uh, Stark, they're yeah. going to say the true ruler is the man that has been here. Yeah. The man that is, even though a bastard son, because he's still he's a bastard. Still a man. He's they still think he's And I think son. that even in this bit, the man is always... Over, overall. It. And also, they're giving him King of the North and they knew he was a bastard. If they know that he's actually of raw bloodline on both sides of... Um, uh, Liana and Rhaegar, yeah. that it's going to be more... Yeah. Mm. Who are you going to follow, the foreign invader or the one who's been... Yeah. The one that was actually going to take over all the shit, yeah. or the one that's like been protecting everyone. Uh, so it'll be, inter- it'll be interesting to see their dynamic. Or it could just, they, pa- they might pander to the fans and be like, yeah, they're going to make babies now. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's in the Targaryen tradition. Yeah. Not fair. And, uh, yeah. So there's, there's our analysis for the promo. Yeah. Uh, we probably missed a few things, some little bits in the background that we've... Oh, yeah, missed. um, little, uh, a young snow attacking... Oh, Baelish. Oh, fuck yeah. Baelish. Oh. Ba- well, what's going to happen to Baelish? Mr. Sneaky is going to get found out and he's going to get got. <laughs> I want him to go through the, the um, floor in the ground. That's not going to happen. It's going to happen, ground happen ground. in specific circumstances. Yeah. I reckon what's going to happen to him, he's going to be thrust out alone somewhere and he's going to be like... Do you think oh. Santa's going to kill him? No, it's just like, huh. And then White Walkers get him. <laughs> and he gets turned to Zombie Baelish. Oh, we, did, we haven't seen, we've not seen the Red Woman yet. No, no, we haven't. We haven't seen her yet. She's not been revealed. But I think at the end of next episode, she'll be the one on the cliff. You'll see her on the cliff. Yeah. And she'll be like, dee 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 dee. And that'll be the next episode, possibly. But yeah, we won't know for sure until next week. So join us again next week for when we actually realise that we've been talking absolute bollocks. Gobbledygook bollocks. And you can yeah. shout it as much as you want. Until that time. Have fun with that. Yeah, until that time. See ya. See you next week.